Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome back to the presentation of wind energy. Today's topic is horizontal axis wind turbine. I am Rakesh Unecha from Marathoda Mitra Mandras College of Engineering. So let us begin. Generally, wind machines are classified according to axis of rotation, their size, type of output and rotational speed. According to axis of rotation, wind machines are classified into two types, horizontal axis wind turbine and vertical axis wind turbine. According to size, they are classified into three types that is small scale wind turbine. It is used up to 2 kilowatt. Second one is medium scale wind turbine. It is used to generate 2 kilowatt to 100 kilowatt of energy. Third one is large scale wind turbine which is used to generate above 100 kilowatt energy. Third one is according to type of load in that there are two types AC and DC. AC generates AC power, DC generates DC power. Last one is according to rotational speed. In this type there are three classifieds. First one is constant speed with variable pitch blades. Second one, nearly constant speed with fixed pitch blades. And last one, variable speed with fixed pitch blades. We are here concerned with horizontal axis wind turbine. So this is the block diagram showing different parts of horizontal axis wind turbine. So there is rotor blades mounted on hub, then rotor brakes, then gearbox, then generator, then nacelle, then yaw control system, then tower, then power cable grid connection and foundation. So let us see the working of each component step by step. The main thing is the axis of rotation of horizontal wind turbine is a horizontal axis and aero turbine plane is vertical which is facing the wind. The first component is rotor blade. It needs to be lightweight and of adequate strength. It's generally made up of glass fiber reinforced plastic. It is having airfoil cross section. Here we can see that the airfoil cross section is such that wind should slide over it and should provide lift to the blade. Then there may be two or three bladed rotors. Three bladed is more balanced than two bladed. But if we add third blade, it increases the power output by 5% only while the weight and cost will increase by 50%. The second component is hub. It is a central portion of the rotor wheel. All blades are attached to it and pitch control is provided inside the hub. We have already discussed that pitch control means it is the angle of blade with the plane of rotation and it affects the force acting on the blade. Next is nacelle. Nacelle is nothing but a box which houses the generator, gearbox, brakes and yaw mechanism. Here this box 
behind the turbine or wheel is nacelle in which there are brakes, gearbox and generator are housed. Next one is power transmission system. It is nothing but a gear and coupling which transfers the mechanical power generated to the generator. The gearbox steps up the speed. Next one is generator. It is a device used to convert mechanical energy into electrical. Three types of generators can be used for large turbines, induction generators, for medium turbines, synchronous generators and for small turbines, permanent, gen permanent magnet generators. Next one is yaw control. We have already seen yaw control is a control which makes the turbine perpendicular to wind speed. So this mechanism continuously tracks and keeps the rotor axis in wind direction. Next one is brakes. It is used to stop the rotor when power is not required. It is also used to stop the rotor during maintenance mode. Generally hydraulic disc brakes are used. Last part is tower. It supports the nacelle and rotor. In figure you can see that there are different types of towers. This one is tubular steel tower. This one is tubular concrete tower. This is lattice tower. This is three legged tower and this is guy wired pole tower. Tower height is generally twice the diameter of turbine so that the blade length matters. If blade length increases, the diameter will increase and that will correspondingly increase the height of the tower. Here different types of turbines are mentioned. You can see that this is single bladed, this is double bladed, this is three bladed, this is US farm, this is bicycle multi bladed, this is upwind turbine, this is downwind turbine, this is multi rotor mounted on single tower, this is diffuser type, this is concentrator type. So lots of horizontal axis wind turbines are there. Thank you. Today we discussed horizontal axis wind turbine. In next slide, in, in next presentation, we will discuss vertical axis wind turbine. Students, you can contact me for any queries on mail rakeshunecha at the red gmail.com and my mobile number is 9763313385. If you like the videos, please like it and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.